Welcome to our headquarters in the Netherlands. The fiber, Dynema, was actually invented just a few meters away from the, where we stand now. After its invention, the leading rope manufacturers have been using Dynema as a core fiber for their mooring ropes. And countless vessels have been using Dynema in their moorings. This video series summarizes the four factors that you have to consider when choosing your mooring rope. Resistance to fatigue, abrasion, creep, and high and low temperatures. It also shows the differences between the Dyneema SK78 and generic HMPE. The second factor to consider when choosing a mooring line is its resistance to abrasion. In this video, I'm going to address external wear of mooring lines in operation and show how we tested and proven superior abrasion performance of ropes made with SK78 versus generic HMPE. As we all know, mooring lines are subject to high abrasive forces, influencing durability of a mooring line and, not to forget, impact safety. External wear of a mooring line is easy to detect visually. However, when to discard a worn mooring line, that is much more difficult. Picture a new mooring line. Looks very slick and smooth. But after a few moorings, the line will show a fluffy surface because of the line rubbing in the fairlead, for instance. And then it looks something similar to this rope. Actually, that fluffiness is a good thing. The very thin outer filaments of the yarn create a woolly surface that protects the rope from further wear. When the rope gets older, and this is what I'm showing now, the abrasion will increase, the woolly surface will change. You may notice flattened yarn, broken filaments, but also um, uh, yarns sticking out. Is this line then still safe to be used or can it be repaired? Well, judging that is difficult and depends on your mooring team skills. Our partners, rope manufacturers, have developed great visual tools to judge the amount of abrasion and guide you in your decision. Repair or discard. If you are still in doubt, you can always contact them for further guidance. Be aware that abrasion is not only depending on the state of your hardware or the way you handle and operate the mooring lines, it is also depending on the rope design and the type of fiber used. I will tell you more about the fiber, but before doing that, let's discuss the tools we have developed for abrasion testing. Let's start in a very simplistic way. We have created a simple test showing the difference in abrasion between small braids of different synthetics. For this test, we take a small, flat metal corner hook that you can buy at any do-it-yourself store and then use that hook as the abrasive surface. This very simple test shows the difference in abrasion between two fibers, polyester and Dyneema. This test clearly shows that small braids with Dyneema are better in abrasion than polyester or any other synthetic for that matter. But it does not reflect the actual differences between various HMPEs in the market. Already for decades, the industry has tried to show differences in abrasion performance through fiber testing like yarn on yarn or hex bar testing. It is nice to compare on fiber or small braids, but also this test has no relation to the real world. We want to understand abrasion behavior and eventually improve performance of ropes made with our fibers. Therefore, we decided to invest in dedicated equipment as close to real life conditions as possible to test abrasion behavior of rope. For that, we have designed and built a state-of-the-art abrasion tester in which rope run over commercially available fairlead. The abrasion tester is designed in such a way that we can vary the test surfaces because it has a modular setup. Of course, we can test dry as well as wet. And next to testing various rope diameters, we can use different frequencies, change the angle of contact and vary the tension. This test is used to support the development of special fiber types investigate the effect of rope constructions or coatings and so on. With this equipment, we have proven that rope made with Dyneema SK78 fiber outperform ropes 
made with any other generic HMPE. The graph that you see here shows rope tests we have done on our Fairlead abrasion tester. We have tested various competitive HMPE fibers in a comparable rope construction and, of course, under the same conditions. As the graph shows, rope made with SK78 fiber is up to four times better in abrasion performance compared to other HMPE tested. And it's not only our tests, but also feedback that we receive from the market showing superior abrasion behavior of rope made with Dyneema SK78. It is therefore safe to conclude that the abrasion performance of Dyneema SK78 fiber results in longer lasting mooring lines and, even more important, safer mooring operations. It shows that the rope with SK78 has a superior service life and the highest reliability over generic HMPE. The longer service life means that over the lifetime of your vessel, you will be using fewer materials less resources for your mooring ropes. Dyneema fiber is made using 100% renewable electricity. If you want to further reduce your carbon footprint, you can choose the bio-based alternative Dyneema fiber. And last but not least, we have established an industry coalition with our major rope manufacturers to develop a closed-group recycling route for Dyneema fiber.